YouTube, uh, it's me, Milbro, once again, with more of the long haul, um, we're on day 68, and we, uh, I just, uh, trick, turned the block durability back up because I just did my mining, well, did my iron and wood session, uh, just to show you really quick, um, I did, um, got two stacks of, uh, wood and four stacks of iron, just so, and you may and uh, you may be wondering why I needed four stacks of iron, or just the, and uh, two stacks of wood. Well, it's like it's because I've been wanting to uh, do catwalks and on my base, and also doing uh, and uh, then I just want to upgrade them to forged iron for the for that industrial look to them, and you know, get the base looking nice. Uh, even though it's gonna be ending, I figured if we're gonna if I'm gonna end out the uh, end out the series on day 70, it has to look good. So, and uh, also a follow up on loot uh, from Pub City from the last episode. Finally got the AK magazine, uh, which I got. Uh, Yo, know, from Shotgun Messiah, I got a couple of them. Which uh, so we'll be putting together a full AK in this episode, and yo. Know, and, uh, you know, be exciting to have that. Gonna be pulling up on town here in just a minute. It's a, uh, you know, main bike's going as fast as it can, but it's one of those, um, you know, with iron, you know, grind out resources. I didn't want to, I wasn't expecting it to take all night, and then a little bit, you know, like, I ended off, like, about 1900, I want to say, in the last episode, and, it took me till just after six o'clock to in the morning for this episode to to uh, finish that out. You know, the iron's the hardest part. That's why I turned the block durability down just to make it easier for content creation. It's a it can be kind of nuts with the uh, but it's just kind of like really at this point I should have the catwalks all done and at least built in this episode and then. You know, have the iron smell certain forged iron starting to smelt for for next episode. You know, like uh, that's really the big thing. And you know, I like I need the iron cooking. I'm like, yeah, I could just upgrade on day seventy, but I'm like, let's get this. Uh, let's just get this finished off and get this get these resources all done. Rolling back in town, we got popping pills. We got. You know, we got all the fun stuff. We might actually go loot and pop pills here in just a second once I get the forges uh, cooking on their resources and, you know, get our precious AK uh, uh, back to you. He'll get the AK finally together. Might even go check out Traitor uh, Rekt to uh, you know, see if he's got anything exciting. My luck, knowing, uh, you know, knowing my luck, I, I probably will get the uh, AK parts uh, Again from Tree Erect, if like I'll probably have them again for me, just as a uh, just as the game's way of telling me screw you. And there is the base, and you might be wondering what this little portion might be of. Um, that's just a uh, house I was sitting there for how long? I decided just to kind of make a little, you know, a little ramp bit out of it just for zombies to run around on. But yeah, home sweet home. So let's get all the get all the iron load up. Um, I might need to have a whole bunch of. I might need to go grab a bunch of clay after doing the raiding. But yeah, it it should be fine. So let me just split up this wood here. We'll just grab you, and that will. That should kick off uh, enough iron in the forge, and we'll kick off uh, enough smelting, and we will just let that just kind of cook away and and have a you know. Hopefully, that should be enough uh, to get it smelting. Give you an ammo while we're at it. Um, and then. Well, enough dilly dallying on the AK. Let's actually get it assembled. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, 
there is the AK parts. And like we got three of them. I'm using the uh the faulty ones as repairs for one of them, so. Um let's grab Oh, I also got another stock. Might as well just merge that together with my other stock, that's nice, but Oh, I forgot I had some uh, shotgun shells and had some shotgun shells in the uh in the you know, workbench on the craft and we got 289 and we got 295. They don't really matter too much to me right now because it's like the uh, AK is a beast in, in its own right. It's a... Where are you at? There you are. And... You know, 546 stock, this will just kind of give it like one level to uh, merge on the... on the AK, like just a ever so slight increase. Oh, four levels, 550. Now, to finally put you together. And... There we go. A level 421, AK-47. That will look at this thing. And... Actually, just unload the rounds out of the sniper rifle. Lovely. I am so happy to have that. So, let me... Give me a moment, YouTube, and I will... I will get my loot sorted out, and we will go and and then we'll go raid pop and pills. Alrighty, folks, we are pulling up to pop and pills uh, with uh, with the AK. I did a little bit of web emergent stuff, but um, let's just test out the AK really quick. I always just want to try. I'm like, if I get, if I got the AK, I might as well use it. Yes, it is wonderful. Come here. And uh, the reason why the AK is just so good on this version, guys, is that the AK is like, it's basically kind of like a fully automatic version of the sniper rifle. I checked the damage on on the sniper rifle versus the AK. The AK at a level 427 does 154.72 damage. So basically 155 damage, let's just call it that. The uh, the sniper rifle only does like 173 damage per shot. So basically it's like if you're if you're accurate about your shots with it, the AK can basically do it can basically just give you the uh, it can be your sniper rifle. And it's like, it'll chew through, uh, it might chew through ammo if you're not careful, but just kind of, see, just two shots with, like, and keep in mind, I'm on Warrior, I haven't turned it up. It's like, I don't really plan on turning it up. Maybe I might do it for Fortnite, you know, spice it up a little bit, but it's like, AK is basically the, it's basically like a fully automatic sniper, and, like, I know the hunting rifle does a bit more damage, like, I've done tests on it before where it's like, the, um, like, the hunting rifle has the highest damage per second in the game, but, uh, like, has the highest damage in the game for a fully automatic, uh, well, for per 7.6 round, and it's a, kind of, it's not even funny how, how strong it is. Um, hi, Curly. Come here, big boy. He's not the brass. Oops. There we go. Curly's done. It's just so nice having this thing. It's like, as the old saying goes, smoke him if you got him. And I do have uh, brass and lead in the. I think I put I stashed it away in the old uh, M the forge I was using from my bullet casings and tips and I just realized like I'm not doing anything with my concrete for you know my cement forge anymore I realized I should have probably just th thrown that in the forge and just and uh we'll throw it in that forge and just have it um yeah I'm just kind of raiding this here for a little bit of you know, having some, uh, 
um, what do you call it? You're getting some medical supplies out of here. If anything, it's like this place is good for that. So, uh, coming up on the last couple cases here, I'm gonna actually get some from when I blew this however long ago. It's just one of those, like, you get grain alcohol, and it's like, you can get a med kit schematic, you can get basically everything you need to make a few med kits. Um, the only thing I don't have that I need is some duct tape, but hey, we... That ain't a big deal, and I can make grain alcohol. I have a, uh, blood draw kit. It ain't that... that worrisome. I'm just gonna break out the pack here. I decided the bathroom was the best spot. Nah. Um, Charlie. Hello. Put him out of his misery. He is just cruising along. Um, that's about it for popping pills, though. We still got, um. Just check this car real quick. Eh, not a wrench. Take it, might as well merge it. But um, still got a little hmm, trip for a kind of trip to tree wreck to do, and I'll see if there's anything worth uh. Actually, no, no, no. Give me, thank you. Try not to drop brass, but uh, figured might as well just go and see you know, what he's got really quick. And you know, I do want to let you folks know if you want to watch me. You know, like, live stream seven days. I do it three days a week, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on, on Twitch till... And usually go about three and a half hours. And it's one of those, uh, you know, I would be really happy if you joined and, you know, watched for a while, you know, like, uh, just have a chat with me. Like, literally, like, really cool person, and, you know, to chat with, it's like, uh... There are certain subjects, uh, that, you know, if you get me started on, uh, like, uh... It's like, just be aware, I might start getting, like, uh, I, you might not, I might talk your ear off. But it's, you know, fun time, like, when I, I have people to chat with the live, like, you know. It's a very small little Twitch channel, but it it's something for me to do. It's like, I'm hoping to eventually get uh, partnered with Twitch uh, to start taking advantage of, like, a 1.0 Splinch integration. It would, that would make it really fun. Alright, we're here at Tree Direct. Let's see if he's got anything worth my while. Tree Direct? I'm here. I think I have like 10,000 Dukes at home. But. Tree Direct, would you like to see my AK? At least wipe that shit off your boots before you come into my shop. Okay, Tree Direct. You could. And be a little bit more nice about this. You still got some stuff I sold you. Um, a nice chainsaw blade. And if I really felt like buying that, I could. He he really doesn't have much. You're getting on my nerves, friend. Okay, okay, Trey Rick, take it easy. If I, if I could, I would invest into Secret Sash Level 3, but it's a level 80 thing. And that's when you get kind of like a lot of the good stuff. But uh, there is some stuff that I do want to... I do want to buy from him. Uh, so, give me one second and I will be right back, folks. Alright, folks. I am back at... I'm back at Trader Rex. I have brought some self uh, some stuff to sell okay, to him at the Parker. very least. You respect the shop rules. Yeah, yeah. We'll get along just fine. We'll just give him some stuff to sell and uh, at least sell something to him. Um, Don't let the this is where kind of gets a little interesting. Where it says he won't take certain stuff, but. I want to see if he can. Hey, jackass! Can I lighten that backpack up for you? It's. It's, un it's weird, like with traders, they will. They will still buddy. take stuff from you, like uh, cause like knows how I wasn't, how he wasn't taking any there extra. Things for sale, even to an idiot like you. I'm taking any extra, yo, 
handgun stuff to, from me. It, it's kind of oh, weird, I know, it's like uh, that a... Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> it's kind of unusual that I was... You better not bring any diseases into my store. It's like, uh, he'll, he'll still accept some stuff. It's just a little unusual with how how he is about it. I don't think I can sell anything Shit, else for that pistol I related, but... That good and you don't even fucking tip me. I just want to see if he'll take one last grip. Alright. I just wanted to try and buy his stuff really quick just for... Well, you know, try and get some stuff out of him. Uh, well, I'll buy the lead. Brass faucet, I'll take it for... Uh, for his brass, and then... 44 magnums? You know what? Trigger act, you got a deal. And... That's a lot of the other stuff I... was sold him. And... Don't really want steel... upgrade, but... I'll take his, uh, I'll take his ammunition off him. One of those, it's like, I can make a fair amount of ammo, but you never know once, uh, what, what he might be. Oh, you, want to you never know if you'll run out. Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> I was just wondering if there was any zombies around, though. Because I want... Because I want... <laughs> I figured... Do a little, uh, do a little decoration, you know. You know, since I've, uh, since I've, you know, kind of already used the block durability thing, you know. Kind of like, you know, people might consider an exploit. Might as well look for a, I was hoping there might be a, you know, a, a lumberjack zombie or two hanging around in the, in the, uh, in the old, in the old uh, trader, around the trader, usually they are. But I was wanting to grab a slack. Um. Okay. Let's just see. Also, pad likes uh, for the mini bike. Eh. No joy. No joy. Unfortunately, no zombies to be to even see around here. I didn't turn down zombie spawns. I can tell you that much for sure. Because, like, you know, obviously I was taking out zombies earlier, but... Huh. Well, sad. Guess no flag for me today. If I come back and... I'll come back on day 70, you know, Maybe I'll just kind of come over and you know, just check, uh, just check to see, because, uh, it's like, you can actually take his trader flags, but... We got a little bit of decorating to do on the... On the, uh... The old... Uh, base, you know... For, uh, in terms of catwalks and everything. But it's just like, you know, want to do a little bit of shopping. So, just one of those, you know... They're, you know, kind of not too much to do, but... You know, might as well just kind of just just spruce out the base. Ha! Ah. That's wonderful stuff. And we'll just ride up the hill over here, and should be popping into existence. Yeah, I'll show you. It's like I'm you know I'm not cutting this because I do want to show you you know just kind of like how. You know, you can fix, you know, like, kind of the issues I was having, like, you know, with, uh, catwalks, you know, kind of, and the railings. We'll just make sure that's fixed up, and... Well! And the only thing that might be a slight issue is maybe, you know, climbing up, but... I actually want to check out the chainsaw. Yeah, we can make... I can remake that blade, but... Uh, where you make this uh, blade that I just bought from Trigger Wrecked into a nice slow 500 and merge it. But, um... So... We'll just drop the stones and we will actually grab all our ammo 
We'll just grab all the ammunition stuff here really quick. And there we go. Work on brass trophies and then keep in mind, I still have this little guy just sitting here. Just doing its thing, you know. Unfortunately, I can't smell, um, whatever you call it, um, Dukes into, I didn't, it's like I found out that was uh, apparently a, that's apparently a later thing, and, uh, on PC that was, uh, allowed, you know, like, cause, uh, so, kind of one of those, it takes money to, you know, like the old saying, you know, money to burn, quite literally. But we'll just start, we'll just start that little forge up, you know, let it just start doing its uh, thing, but we got some building to do, so. Um, Dukes, you can just, just go live in your home, and... Before I forget that, you know, since we found those padlocks, we'll just at least just repair it for for the sake of it, and we'll just throw it on the mini bike. Something a little nice. Now a fully assembled mini bike. So, how I intend on repairing this is so we'll get catwalks, and we'll do. We'll just make like ten of them just to be absolutely sure, folks. So, and then we want some railings. Um, want some wood railings, and then it it really gets it's really not that hard to uh, do. Um, okay. So we'll just move the AK up there, and we'll. We'll just use uh, one that would be a prime example of this. Okay, we'll... So, take the catwalk and... We'll take your catwalks and... There we go. And then what you want to do here is... Rotate your... You know, you know, get your railings how you want them and then... Oop, hang on. There we go. Make sure you get up your ladder as well, but... And so, it, you know, it allows you just to repair, you know, kind of have that looking really nice, and it just allows you to have a, a beautiful looking... a beautiful looking catwalk, you know. And you just kind of rinse and repeat it. And it also makes it to where it's like, uh, thankfully it doesn't look janky. Because, uh, I'll admit this on my co-op series, I was doing, I was doing, like, you know, trying to put, I was digging in, you know, like, finally finishing up the, uh, screener pit inner level, and, and, well, I had a little bit of a, you know, I had to go, go play, uh, the classic, uh, game of, uh, Go go out on the bridge and go out on the girders and and risk life and limb and risk limb I did for for putting together you know putting railings on because like uh, they don't have any of the railing corner pieces and I could just use catwalks but I was just kind of like eh, I don't know like you know don't know if I really want to use those and what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna where did that... Oh, we got a screamer. Speaking of screamers, where are you at? Hi, sweetie. Go away. The, just because I mentioned your name does not mean you need to come... Uh, come run at me. Um... I think for the last, uh, you know, for the final horde night of this series, uh, we'll, uh... We'll do something a little bit more special. Let me just take care of these guys really quick. There you go. Oh, hello, copper. Copper. Come here, big cop. Now, try not to shoot the base. Come here. 
We'll just... <laughs> you know what? Show the destruction of the AK on them. Come here. See? AK does a little wonderful work. Oh, thank you for your shotgun. And... Oh, joy. Another... Another screamer. Don't cause me to scratch at my base, darn you. Sorry for the rude interruption, folks. Did not did not mean for that to did not mean for this to happen. But as I was saying though, we'll let the we'll let Spides uh, do his thing. Um we'll just grab the steel fire axe back. Oh, there it goes. The <laughs> the block decides to finally pop back into existence and we got more company. Sometimes it likes to do that in this version. It's a uh, where it's like it'll place a block, but then it'll and then it'll just immediately disappear. Thought I lost a frame, but ah. So what I was wanting to test really quick here, folks, is uh, you just see if the the catwalk the catwalk blocks. So I can still see if I can still climb up with these and. Nope. Unfortunately, no. Oh wait, I think I can? Let, let's just try that again. Sometimes the game's a little bit unusual, but... with this kind of interaction... There we go. Just gotta look straight up and we'll... and be able to climb up. So yeah, I think, um... Well, actually, what I'll do is just... Just for the fun of it, we'll I'll time lapse this. You know, just kind of me building up the catwalk more for you guys, and uh, and we'll tune in uh, once it's done. Okay, YouTube. So, I wanted to gonna stop the time lapse because uh, first off, it's getting close to nighttime. But not just that. Kind of realized another interesting little issue, and I was already planning on putting on you know like the uh, fence extensions here. You know, I'll call them that. You know, but I realized like you know while placing more catwalks that this was gonna be more of um like there was gonna be a railing stuck here. And so, my little solution is, like, I'm like, oh, this is going to be an unusual gap for this, so we're just going to, don't mind me, while I just quickly gap the, uh, you know, put these uh, in for the gaps here really quick. Um, and you know, take this as a... Take this as a, you know, like a little tutorial, you know, from me, you know, like, because I've just kind of learned this, you know, even though it's like really, you know, probably won't be using this anymore because, like, I don't think 1.0 uses it, but, um, uses this weird system because, like, you're allowed to have all the pieces, you know, like, and basically all the catwalk pieces, but, so, the little solution here is going to be, we're going to do, 
four more railings, you know, place all those catwalks and you could I know there's some people that will probably be a little OCD about this uh, and then you know, just rotate them and then there you go and I might even do a separate video on this you know just as a little just as a little um you know just so people are aware you know like you know if they, in case they hey, struggle a little bit the I'm just trying to check to see here if this is uh, just kind of lying up here. Okay, yeah, I'm not going crazy, but that's you know that's a cool little way just to kind of keep your wood railings looking flush and clean. But YouTube, that's gonna be it for today's episode of uh, of the long haul. I'm gonna continue doing my thing here, building out the catwalks, you know, and I should hopefully start upgrading this, uh, you know, overnight. But, you know, if you uh, made this far and you like what you see, you want to see more, especially 1.0 content from me, I hope you uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below, and, you know, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, and take care.